I mean, this is quite a splintering, right? Joining me, Republican strategist Evan Siegfried and the CEO of American Majority, Ned Ryan. Ned, explain to me why the president is supporting Luther Strange. You know, I, I actually don't know how he came to that decision. And Trish, you know me. I've been a very strong and ardent supporter of the president from before the primary was over. But I think on this one, we're going to have to agree to disagree. Uh, and I wish that he had found himself otherwise occupied when it comes to Alabama. The thing that, that, that is not good for Trump about Alabama, Trish, is that it has become a referendum on Mitch McConnell's leadership, I would actually argue lack thereof, and pushing forward the America First agenda. And when we talk even just about this health care debacle that's taking place right now, Mitch McConnell has shown a strange inability that I believe is intentional and not pushing forward the America First agenda. And, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again, Mitch McConnell would rather reign in hell than serve in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so when, when Trump is going down to Alabama, and when Sarah Palin again referred to draining the swamp, you can only say you're going to drain, you have to say you're going to drain the swamp. You cannot create a protected class of swamp creatures. And okay. so I think the thing that Trump is going to realize <laughs> is that he has put himself opposite of his grassroots at the same time, Many of us are still very strongly supporting him on a yeah, variety, no, that's, variety that, of other things. It's very clear. Uh, there's a real movement for Roy Moore, um, despite so many of you really believing in the Trump presidency and believing in him. So it, that's right. it's interesting, interesting to watch, uh, a little strange for a little pun on, on words <laughs> there. Uh, it, it, but, you know, look, here's the reality of the situation. You now see, yet again, health care dead on arrival. Uh, they keep trying to do stuff. And they can't get it done. And Evan, you can understand and feel the frustration that people like Ned have with this sense that, and Sarah Palin, that, that they worked hard for something and now it's being taken away before their very eyes, as you have many as sort of taking hold of Trump and sending him in what they believe is the wrong direction into the arms of Democrats or the likes of Senator Strange. What do you say? Well, I don't see what we accomplish by replacing Luther Strange, who has been with the president since the first day he got into D.C. in February with Roy Moore gets us. Roy Moore, it, it, it's, he's basically not qualified for office. This is a man who, while Luther Strange was enforcing the rule of law, he, he was ignoring he was the, the rule Supreme of law. Supreme Court, right? As and he was kicked off Alabama. for ignoring a federal court order. He was thrown off the Supreme Court. And then he came back as the chief justice of the Supreme Court 10 years later mm -hmm. and ignored uh, or told his probate judges to ignore the rule of law that was federal law on marriage equality. And he was suspended again. And then he resigned so he could run for this. Mm -hmm. I don't understand but, why he would do that. I don't so, understand so, why he see, would refer to reds and yellows. You do understand why he's got the evangelical vote then, uh, with people Evan, that, because we're talking about. He said gay he marriage, wants to sir. criminalize homosexuality. You know what other countries is, criminalize homosexuality? Iran. I don't think we need to be. This is, uh, Ned, uh, we're talking about Evan, a man who's a little bit too extreme for even extremists. This, but, but here's the thing this is that, that literally you could almost say it doesn't matter who's on the ballot because this is a referendum on Mitch McConnell. If you talk to people in Alabama, as I have, from elected officials to grassroots, this race is becoming a referendum on Mitch McConnell's lack of leadership on pushing forward the agenda. Yeah. So I, I whether think it was Roy that, Moore I think in or someone else... No, I think and, and that in 2016, thing, Americans Evan. showed that they're very frustrated with Congress not doing anything. And Congress's approval exactly. ratings have gone to low single digits now. Tanks. And if we put Tanks. Roy Moore in there, he's not somebody who's shown a willingness to work with others. And he's become a very much a hardliner. If you put him in there, we'll it'll be what? more gridlock. Why do we want to punish ourselves by giving us uh, more of gridlock? But Luther Strange actually is willing to work with the president <laughs> and anybody who's possible. Evan. Evan, I think what you see is with Roy Moore, at least a willingness and ability to go to the mass to push forward the America first agenda, which I have not I seen. I see a man who Mitch pays McConnell himself a million dollars out of his own charity. But I will say that this, sounds but like I will say this Evan. I will say this. If Luther Strange loses on Tuesday night, and I think he will by a very narrow margin, this sets the tone for 2018 because it will tell Republican senators, despite the majority leader spending nine to 10 million on your race, you are not protected either pass the president's agenda or you could face the wrath of the grassroots in 2018 okay, primaries. But here's that's what I, I think is, really is actually going to happen as we close out this segment. I think there's a good chance that Senator Strange could win this thing because I do think that President Trump has led his base along. And I think that it's a lot of people close. are more loyal to him than they are to these ideas. Uh, they are loyal to Donald Trump. And so when push comes to shove, 
if he tells them to go vote for Senator Strange, they may in fact do that. And you know what that's going to show you guys? It's going to show you that other Republicans need to get in line because he will then show his power. This will be the sixth race, right, that effectively he has been able to help decide with the power of his tweets and the power of his presentation by flying in there on Air Force One. If that's the case, then maybe, finally, somehow, the Republicans will Trish, come together and support his agenda. I, I will agree with you on this. If Luther Strange wins Tuesday night, it is because of President Trump leaning into it and putting okay. his muscle behind it. That is the only reason that he will win on Tuesday night. And if he loses, that's a very major blow to President Trump. And you sure, weakened him is. as a president by undermining him through supporting Roy Moore. Oh, all right. That's probably <laughs> right, too. Ned, Evan, thank you so much.